uh, you spent your life uh, working with the dead. Um, are you yourself afraid of death? That that that's a common question. Uh, in is how can you, as a physician, deal with so much uh, so many dead bodies? Isn't it a horrible situation? No, it's not a horrible situation. Uh, I started out internal medicine in Bellevue Hospital, New York City. Uh, so lots of people uh, dying this time, dying from cancer, come to to the to Bellevue, uh, and it was most the, the painful part to me of being a doctor was when I had a patient who was dying of something that I couldn't cure, metastatic cancer, severe heart disease. And I deal with the patient, I have all kinds of medications and, and all, but we could not prevent the death from occurring. And that was very painful to me. As a forensic pathologist, going down to, to do autopsies on people who are dead, even though the death may be horrendous, a multi-car accident and kids get uh, uh, killed as well as adults, uh, as uh, uh, even the dismembered bodies. Uh, it may be painful to me to look at a, a child who's innocent and dies, or look at a, a you know a, a young black kid who dies from uh, uh, just carelessness uh, by police department or something. Uh, that can be painful to me but not in the way of, there's no suffering involved. I'm not suffering with the patient. The patient is out of all pain. When we're, we're there, there's no pain in any of the patients we deal with. Uh, and that's the saving grace for me. And what we can do as all pathologists, but especially forensic pathologists, is not only learning the cause of death so the family uh, can be advised of how their loved one died, but also when it comes to uh, many deaths, whether pe people die from... Uh, um, uh, uh, homicides or people uh, die from uh, 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 fires or drowning or uh, uh, carbon monoxide poisoning from uh, leaky uh, uh, furnaces or something. Uh, we're not only uh, helping the family, but we're also helping society. How does society uh, make sure that if somebody's killing people that they get punished, properly punished? Uh, how, how do we learn about suicide victims what can we do to prevent suicides? You know, why why uh, uh, there should be preventive strategies. So we're learning a lot uh, for the families and also for society, and that's what what is encouraging. And that's why you know I, I'm getting older and older. I I'm not retiring down to Florida to play golf like <laughs> most of my uh, uh, medical school colleagues are, uh, who really have, are upset by how medicine has gone in these past 30, 40 years. Uh, but I, uh, I'm uh, encouraged by what I do that it can help not only families, but also to deal with problems like deaths in prison, that uh, well, heroin addict deaths, uh, suicides, where we gather information that can be used to study and develop strategies to prevent the deaths. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.